Didn't play, but it's, I'm glad it's my last year and I get a chance to play against them. How often do you see the video of your uh, reaction number to TJ's score? Uh, I, 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 I just ain't plenty of times, especially <laughs> during the bye week. And uh, I done got some some comments uh, to myself about it too. And uh, it's very funny seeing myself doing that. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> Uh, I was just pumped. I was just pumped. <laughs> Happy that we, because I knew that year we had, we was on the right track to win the national championship, and it was going to be my first one. And uh, I was just so happy and that the stadium was just like, it gets you that way. So I just jumped up and started acting, and I looked down, there's a camera right there in my face, and I was like, man, I'm about to get in trouble. <laughs> well, how was your weekend, though? Oh, uh, weekend's pretty good. I went home and spent time with my daughter, my family. Uh, went saw my grandma, saw my mother, and pretty much just lay back and try to rest my arm and watch some film at the same time and try to be very productive. What do you see from from LSU defense? Uh, a lot of talent, a lot of talent, a lot of guys that can make plays, a lot of guys that uh, keep the energy going even when things are going bad. I think that's a great thing that they have for each other, and they want to. They look like they want to play for each other. And um, it's going to be a good, very good game. What do you feel like has been the difference for you for your, with your first game on the road this year and now you're going into the last road game of the season? Uh, confidence. I think my confidence has, is a lot better. I'm more calm in the pocket, more together with my teammates, and uh, I think the trust is the big, big thing for us. You guys are playing in the game, but you, you've been in that atmosphere in Tiger Stadium. How loud can it get, and how do you handle that, knowing that now it's your turn to make the calls and the checks with God? Uh, it's very big. It's very big. And uh, just from watching from last time AJ played there and uh, the way he kept his composure and stuff, I've been watching him. I've been watching Phil when he was there. Not pretty much on the LSU defense, pretty much just seeing how he kept his composure, seeing how other quarterbacks kept their composure. Maybe I can do the same thing. And knowing how loud it is, Communication is going to be very big for us, and we got to talk. That's the main thing we got to do. What do you notice so. about what AJ did? What what sticks out about what he's done in that stadium? Uh, he got he got he got the players talking a lot. Communication is very good for him. I know certain times in the game that he didn't have to say nothing because the players can look to the sideline or they can look at each other. You know the hand signals very well, and um, he kept his composure very well. That was a tight game that year. I think he did a great job, and hopefully I can go and do the same exact thing. And one of the things that Saban talked about was your ability to change a play at the line and check into the right place. How do you think you've done with that recently? Uh, I think I've got better. I have been sitting down with Coach Kiffin a lot more just so I can speed up the process. Which, even, I'm sorry. Oh, even if I haven't did it fast, and I'm trying to do it more faster. But what's difficult about that That whole dynamic of, of changing play and reading defense? And stuff? Uh, just, just keying things. Uh, just by watching film, you got to pick things. You got to key. Try to pick something out of the defense that can, when you see, you like, hey, you know, alerts to you and lets you know that's where I see that and I need to make the change. Do you have any concerns about your offensive line being shuffled around and why or why not? Oh, I have no concern. That, um, we have guys that are backups that work very hard, work even harder than some of the, than the starters. And um, I've had all the trust. And Coach Saban, Coach Kiffin, and Coach Cristobal, that they will make the right decision and have nothing but a confidence in the play that they choose to play. And my job is to let whoever know that is playing in that front five, let them know that I trust you, I love you, and no matter what, just remember I got feet. So if you miss a block, I'm <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what do you benefit the most from with the bye week? Is it just the rest part, or is it the extra film? What do you think is the most beneficial having two weeks to prepare? Uh, Strengthen my coverage awareness. I think that was the main thing I tried to do, and uh, try to get the ball out even faster. Uh, the faster you get the ball out, the best it is for your wide receivers, your offensive line, and it then helps you out from getting hit so much. And uh, that was my main thing, trying to keep my footwork good and try to watch from the past games that I have been, like watch my composure, watch my communication with the team, and try to just get better as a whole. I watched the 2012 game. What was Yeldon's reaction when he came on off the field? Because obviously that was the play of the game. Uh, TJ is the kind of guy that he doesn't like. His body language doesn't show how much happiness it was. I think because that was his freshman year. I think that he didn't realize what he just did and how big it was for him. And uh, 
I think inside he was just yelling and so happy for himself. But outside we was just like, this man just made history. Because <laughs> I know if it was me, I probably would have got in more trouble. I probably would have <laughs> So, but it was, uh, I think it was big for him. And he has said plenty of times in the, in the locker room days trying to relive it. I know you'd rather stand in the pocket and make make a pass, but is there a part of you that enjoys on a call run, you may be able to outrun a defensive end, a linebacker, and put a move on a safety? Do you really miss that part of your game and enjoy it? Uh, it's good to have flashbacks and get the opportunity to do it, but when you see other guys get in the end zone and you know, see them smile and be happy to score and the spotlight is on them, that's, I think that's the best thing. And I like celebrating with the team the more than scoring and try to Maybe the top ten highlights and stuff. <laughs> From what you can tell about LSU's defense, what makes them so good against the pass, leading the nation in pass defense efficiency? I'm sorry? What makes LSU so good on fitting the pass from what you can tell on film? Uh, they're aggressive. They really they really have a passion about the game. They want they know the details that they have to do to win games and I think that's the main thing they focus on and they practice so hard on it and that's why they they're able to do the things they can do in the game. Last one here. This series, just like we talked about two years ago with TJ, and last year OJ Howard makes a huge play. You know, one big play can be so pivotal. How, how important is it to be explosive in this game, and how much are you looking forward to getting getting involved? Uh, I think that goes down to one that something that Coach Saban and I have said before. We're not since our bye week and this week of practice, we're not trying to do things till we do it right. We try to do things until we can't do it wrong. Because we know it's, it's going to be that one play that's going to win us the game, and we want to be the one to win that play. Because we just got to do right. And I think that's the main thing that all the guys know. And just by different years, TJ did it one year, and OJ did another year. There's no telling who that guy can be. So he can be called anytime. Thanks, Blake.